I'll go ahead and start it off. We, um, this event is going to be uh, probably the best prepared event we've had so far. This doesn't just happen overnight. There's a lot of preparation that goes into it. TSI actually, we have, based our whole staff is here. <clears throat> just like you, we're going to learn. We're going to sit in the classes. We're going to learn from uh, MAP, all the stuff that's in there. Uh, people always ask me, you know, why, why, why should I come to the user group meeting? What does it offer my company? Uh, I always tell people it's a way to leverage your existing investment that you've got. Uh, if you think about how much money you put into your software and your training, and you're able to come here and learn about things like job site solutions, which is the, using the Trimble, and you'll see expansion of that. Or you'll see things like um, uh, being able to put out, put out a better report, whether it be a management report or a fab report. I was talking to uh, it was Hermanson last night saying, yeah, we, we implemented uh, spooling and the productivity of that in terms of being able to do piping spools, um, major impact. So there's, you know, like most software, there's always tools in there, and we want to be able to pull that out and leverage it. Um, I was talking to Stuart and Lewis at the end of the um, reception last night, and it's amazing. When we first started, uh, when there was 50 or 100 people, even 150 people, I'd say I knew probably 90% of the people in the room. I probably trained them, or I probably, you know, sold them the software. And, uh, you know, this event here, uh, 400 plus, I think 425 is about the number we're looking at. Um, you know, if I know, I probably sold them the same 100 people, you know. It just seems like uh, a lot of new people have really joined on, came on board. And I want to welcome all those people here. And um, you know, I'll welcome everyone here. But basically, I wanted to say to the people I don't know, you know, you see me at the reception, please come up, introduce yourself. Um, even if uh, you don't think, maybe I, maybe I met you at a trade show or something, you know, it's uh, a lot of people here. So uh, by all means, you know, come up and introduce yourselves. Um, so the one-on-one the -on -one sessions that we have, I don't know if, uh, how many people are signed up for those. On the website, you may notice that you can sign up for a one-on-one. -on -one. And it really gives you an opportunity to meet with MAP, a TSI representative in a one-on-one -on -one situation. A little comment about that is I would really like you guys to be prepared for that meeting. Uh, last year, I think we had 20 minutes. I think it's 30 this, this year. And that, that just goes by like that. I mean, it's so fast. Uh, we did send out requests to people um, to send in their, their requests as far as what they would like to talk about at those one-on-ones. So, um, you know, if you have those, you know, be on time. Uh, be patient if they're running late. Uh, if that does happen, we usually will hang around late and, you know, answer questions. But in terms of why you should come to the user group meeting itself, is you get real one-on-one -on -one contact with people. And ExtraCAD is fantastic. It's a great form for users to talk back and forth. Um, but uh, don't be fooled. Don't be lulled into thinking that if you post something on ExtraCAD, that's in some sort of development list that's going to get a priority based on a bunch of users and what they're putting into it. Anyone who's attended the user group meeting in the past knows that the final day, we go through and we basically create the wish list. And a lot of people may or may not know that wish list is real. That wish list gets reviewed. It gets prioritized, and it gets implemented. Okay? So if you want something in the software and you're here, uh, if it's a valid request, it's, in all likelihood, it's going to be there. And um, this year, it's going to be very exciting. Uh, we've got some fantastic stuff to show you guys. Fantastic. So um, basically, what I'm going to present here is basically kind of where TSI is going. I'm going to do some housekeeping stuff as far as where we're at. We have one change in the room schedule. We'll go through that. Um, this is the growth history of the user group meeting. The first one we started off, uh, you know, we had 15 people. And I remember when, when Greg and I first started TSI. And uh, we were taking our first road trip in Texas. And we, you know, we had, you know, and his dad was there, and we're saying, yeah, we're going to do this, and we got this, and we're gonna, you know, we got this idea, and we're all excited, you know, it's going later and later, and his dad's probably getting tired, and let's pause in the conversation, he says, these guys got some great ideas, you ever uh, writing those down, you know? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, of course we write all that stuff down, right? And, uh, you know, it kind of goes to implementation, whether you're actually going to take what you get here and implement it, right? So you can talk a lot, you can think a lot. I know a lot of people last year were probably here thinking, you know, the design line looks incredible. We really need to implement design line, have every intention in doing it. And it's actually the execution of that, that what, uh, is really what it takes. So uh, we had some people send in some services. And uh, much to my surprise, people are implementing design line more so than I uh, actually thought, which is great. 
So if you're able to take what you learn here, right, leverage that, execute it, your company is going to take advantage of the investment that you've made in the software.